What's up guys, my name's Kenny. Hope you're all feeling good today. It is Wednesday, March 6th, and in this video, I'm gonna play Wordle Connections and the Mini Crossword. However, I do believe that I will also be trying the game Strands. Um, a few people left a comment on my most recent video or the last couple videos and said I should try this new game uh, from the New York Times. So I took a look at it and I will tell you that, you know, Without playing the game yet, I don't think it's a game that I'm going to like. I will probably do very poorly at it, but I'll check it out in this video, and, uh, you know, you guys can see my my initial reaction to it. Um, so, anyway, let's go ahead and get started with Wordle. Today, I did use the randomizer to select a word, and I got the word bust. So, let's go ahead and put in bust. Okay, there is an E in this word. Um, how about glove? What about glove? No, the E's not at the end either. What about extra? That's probably a terrible word to use. <laughs> I thought of, oh, actually, that was a great word to use. Um, heart? Is it heart? No. Here... Um... Theory? There we go. That was an interesting one. Extra probably wasn't a good guess. <laughs> like, why use a word that has an X in it? But uh, I was trying to think of how the E could go anywhere else other than uh, at the end. And I just thought E at the front, extra. First word. So, yeah. Um, heart, I thought was a good guess. We might have already had that as an answer, though. But I never, I never would have thought about theory. But anyway... Heart gave me all the information. I need. Extra, extra was, as it turns out, to be a good guess, though. So that is good. Everything except for the X. Um, all right, so that's Wordle. Uh, now let's go ahead and move on to connections. So give me a moment to open that up. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, connections for March 6th. Let's go ahead and see how I do on it today. Uh, let's see what words do we got here. We have club, windsock. Okay, that's interesting. Runway, beanbag, turncoat, lawsuit. Well, I can already tell you that we got words that have multiple, like, windsock, lawsuit, turncoat. They all have clothing items in there and gumshoe. Fox glove. Oh my gosh. Bean bag. Airport things. Terminal. Runway. Tarmac. Okay. I don't know what fox glove is. I've never heard that in my life. Turncoat sounds familiar, but I don't know what it is. I don't even. I have no idea what gumshoe is. So. This is going to be a, probably an impossible one because there's way too many words on here that I don't know. Hanger. I didn't know hanger was spelled like that. Is that hanger like for airplane? Is that how you spell that? So if that is for the airplanes, then I'll put that in with terminal, runway, and tarmac, I guess. Yeah. Okay, parts of an airport. So... Does that get rid of anything? Gumshoe, windsock, turncoat, foxglove. I guess lawsuit's also on here. A suit is like... Multiple, like, pieces of clothing, though. I'm gonna put these ones in. I don't know what half of these are. But I'm gonna put them in because they all have, like, a clothing piece in them. Okay, there we go. Words ending in clothing. That one was, like, for me, like, a more obvious one. I'm assuming that most people are going to get that one pretty quickly. Just because they're going to notice the coat, the shoe, the glove, the sock in them. Like, some of these that do that can be difficult, but this one today I think is really easy. But let me know in the comments if you guys got it or not. Oh, a uh, lawsuit, a claim, maybe a complaint, and an action? For like, um, okay, legal terms, there we go. Then torch, ring, beanbag, and club. 
Um, torch, ring, beanbag, and club. Let me think for this, because I have no idea. Um, beanbag. Like, what is what is that going to go with? Like, or, like, how is that going to make any sense in terms of, like, fitting in any category? Ring. Um... Club. I I do not understand this one at all. <laughs> um, okay, show me what it is. Things a juggler juggles. They juggle torches? Oh, okay, I never would have thought about that. I mean, yeah, I guess. I just never would have thought about it. Clubs? Okay. Yeah, never would I get... How, I mean, how is anybody going to get that? If you guys got that one today, like, that's pretty, honestly, pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. Um, that that one I had a lot of trouble with. Um, but yeah, that's the connections for today. Let's go ahead and move on to the mini crossword, and then I will check out that other game. Um, Strands or whatever it's called after that. So uh, let me open that up real quick. We'll do the mini first. All right, mini crossword, green space in a city, green space, so green like, um, like a park, site with a buy it now button, wait, buy it now, is there a specific site that's known for that? I didn't, um, I, is that just not a thing everywhere or like in a lot of places? Uh, one providing SAT navigation, like the, the, the test or I'm not sure. Baked pasta dish. Oh, great. Um, I'm really not a food person in terms of like knowing things about food. Uh, baked pasta dish. No. Company whose name became a verb in 2020. Again, this could be a number of things. Um, four letters. Company. A company. Just any company. Doesn't say specifically a tech company or like a, you know, a different kind of company. Like... Company whose name became a verb in the 2020s. So recently, very recently. I, I have no idea. Blank project. Pet project? Is that right? Is that a thing? Go back to five across. eBay? Okay, pet's probably right. Full of activity and excitement. Two, three, for example. Ratio. Uh, hit Phoebe Bridger's song with the lyric, the band took the speed train. I don't, what? Uh, area from which most view the Grand Canyon. Is there a, is that a thing? Okay. Um, Tudor. Uh, baked pasta dish. So this is a song. Not going to get that. Um, Company whose name became a verb in the 2020s. So is the company a brand new company that started recently, or is it just a company that just finally started, people started using its name as a verb? Uh, full of activity and excitement. 
I hope Park is right. Park. Park. That, that seems right, right? Uh, I don't know. I got to give up. I have no idea what this is. What is it? I'm not going to get any of these ones. Um... A buzz? Oh my gosh. Z Z ZT? Zoom? Okay. Man, that would have helped to have a little bit more context there for, for Zoom. Like, it could have been any company. Like, do we, is that really the only company that we do that with? That's four letters? Like, I don't know. Rim? Yeah, I never would have got that. Kyoto? Man, all right. Okay, uh, well, that's going to be it for the mini. Uh, so, uh, now let's go ahead and move on and try this new game that I've, I've never tried before. Um, again, a lot of people a lot of people have recommended uh, this game like the past couple of days, and I figured, why not just check it out once? Uh, I do not think it's a game that I'm going to want to play. Um, I don't think it's a game that I'm going to want to play on this channel Hardly ever. Maybe this is the only time. Like, seriously, it does not look like a game that I would like. But I'm going to do it once just to see, just to see how I do. And you guys can watch me fail miserably at it. Um, so, yeah, this is a new game, apparently, in beta uh, called Strands. Find hidden words and uncover the day's theme. Um, so this is kind of a bad place for my camera. I'm not going to change where my camera is, though, like. Um, I mean, I can make a, 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 a new scene, I guess, but I'm not gonna just for today, but this is too much work for me to do this. Okay. Um, it's, oh, it's locked. That's why I can't, I can't move it. It's locked in place. There we go. Um, okay. So. Let's look at the rules here. How to am I zoomed? Oh my gosh! Really zooming in on this makes it unable to like read. Okay, they need to fix that because um, I should be able to zoom in and and have it not do that. Um, how to play? Um, okay, so it's just finding words. It's like a word search, and I'm gonna be honest. That does not sound fun or appealing to me. So. Uh, theme words stay highlighted in blue when found. Okay. Drag or tap. All right. Uh, theme words fill the board entirely. No theme words overlap. Uh, find the s spangram? The spangram describes the puzzle's theme and touches two opposite sides of the board. It may be two words. For example, pear, fruit, banana, apple. So it describes the theme. It may be two words. Um, find, okay, so we can get hints. I mean, I don't generally like playing with hints, but I feel like I'm going to do so bad on the, these, I'm going to have to. Okay, so let me zoom back in a little bit. Okay. Um, I don't know, guys, this just... I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I see goat, but I can't. I can't put it in. Okay, so it can go diagonally, I think. So we got to cover the whole board, like. So, but it could it could be like this. So like just because like it doesn't mean that the word has to start with J. Um. There's all. Too short. I didn't I didn't mean to actually input that as a guess, but okay. Um, local. Hey, that's a word. It's not a theme word, though. What? 
Oh, but that's nice. Oh, I see. So you can find words that aren't on there. Um, uh, see, oh my, guys, I can already tell this is a game that's going to take me 20 minutes to solve. Like, I'm looking at this, and my first thought was this is going to be easy. You're just finding words. But the more I look at this, the more I realize, wait, they can be diagonal. They can be like, like it could be a word like this. I mean, nikakliyoam is not a word, but like th this is not as simple as just oh yeah, you're gonna see him pretty quickly. Ant. Um. So no, that's fine though because that could be an ending of a word. Um. Yeah, see, no, guys, like, this is not good content. It's just gonna be me sitting here for 20 minutes staring at this, and, like, maybe once every 10 minutes I, I can put in a word. This is not something to do on camera. <laughs> this is something that maybe I'll do in my free time. Not really, because this doesn't seem fun to me. Uh, so first impression, dog. Oh, come on, that's gotta give me help for the, th for the theme. Dogma. There, hey, that's a word. All the vowels right here, A E I O U, but A O U I E. Okay. Matt. Got. We're starting we're starting easy. We're starting with three letter words. P to get me like to get me um you know ready. Well practiced, right? You gotta start small. Anything you want to do in life, anything you want to accomplish, you got to start small. All right, that's good advice. Okay, give me a hint. Lime. So they can be four letters. Okay. Okay, so then... Well, then these three have to go together, right? Or... Rock. Rot. Right, because you got to fill up the whole board, right? Um. Okay, I'm a little bit stuck. I, I, how do I not see a word here? Ac. Ac. No. Actor. It's not gonna be it, because then that would uh that would put the the end kind of isolated. Um so it's probably something tor. Right? T O R at the end. Um Nail. Okay, it's gonna give me help for a hint. So when they say hint, it literally just means here's a word. Okay, so that's how I'm gonna play. I'm gonna have to find all these four letter words that are like easy, and then, um, and then I can just get. Okay, how I've already spent four minutes on this, and I've got one four letter word simply by getting a hint. Okay. <laughs> um. Go. Give me another hint. Okay. That's a great hint. All the letters I'm assuming for a word. Um. That's not a word. My Toto. To tomato, tomato. Gu guac. Hold on. Guac. Uh, how do you spell guacamole? Is it like this? 
span spangram. Okay, we found the spangram. Is wait, what, how do you say that? <laughs> spangram. Something like that. Okay, so jalapeno. Ha ha lip ha jalapeno. <laughs> it was there. I found it. Okay. Um. Okay, it's got to, okay. This has to be like one word over here. It's got to be like something that ends in tour. Cilantro. Hold on, not cilantro. Cilantro, okay, we got it. Uh, And then, so there's two words here. Um, okay. My brain hurts looking at this. Um. So, if it's guacamole, you got tomato, cilantro, jalapeno, lime. I don't know how to make guacamole. Um. Shoot, what the heck is... What how how do you make guacamole? Wait, avocado. I haven't I haven't used an avocado yet, right? For some reason I thought I already had it, but no. I put guacamole in. So avocado and then garlic. There we go. Got a dip. I used two hints. I mean, it's my first time. It's, uh, it's, this was, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, it was very tough, and I don't think it's a game that I'm gonna do super well at. But, uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. That is Strands. Uh, so yeah. Um, hey, maybe it's a game that you'd like. Go ahead and check it out. Let me know in the comments if you like the game or not. Uh, but yeah, don't expect me to play it on this channel um you know maybe rarely maybe sometimes but probably not so uh with that being said guys that's it for today uh thank you so much for watching leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new leave a comment how'd you do on any of the games that i played and then i will see you guys tomorrow for the next video take care